Malaysia is considering enhancing its research and development sector with the Science, Technology and Innovation Act. Science, Technology and Innovation Minister Chang Lee Kang said the act will mandate a minimum spending of 2% of gross domestic product in R&D. Uh, they put it in writing that uh, the country must at least invest how many percent of uh, uh, their GDP into R&D. Chang said Malaysia should look to South Korea, which has set ambitious goals to boost R&D investment. Uh, you see, now Korea is so um, advanced in terms of science technology. But you know how much they have uh, invested? Uh, government expenditure on R&D, 4.5%. Ours, barely 1%. However, Chang said the act would first need significant lobbying and buy-in from various stakeholders before it could be implemented. I think we are lucky because we have, uh, we have a Prime Minister that, uh, who thinks science and technology uh, are important. For now, Chang said he is thankful for the Malaysia Science Endowment, a 2 billion ringgit fund designed to co-finance R&D projects with private and foreign partners. By having a, a fund size of 2 billion, every year we can easily come up with about 100 million uh, to, to do extra R&D. Despite the ambitious plans, he said he recognised the challenge of reallocating funds from other areas of interest. Uh, of course, uh, it, it won't be easy because uh, you're going to take away from <laughs> other people. But uh, well, it's not about me, it's not about Mosti. It's about the future of the country.